the halls of parliament rattled when couches raced by its entrance as Couchsurfing 2015 went wild on Wednesday. Students, teachers, volunteers and many more were at Bennett Park for one of the most fun events this year. Extreme Radio 91.5 Darwin FM and Aboriginal Broadcasting Australia promoted the event and were there on the day to catch the action live. Anglicare NT were the organisers of the event, setting up schools and stalls of community services from across the Northern Territory. Formed by a group of social advocates who believed that too many young people were moving out of home with nowhere to go. The day has since grown into a national celebration of young people's resilience. More than 16 entrants raced to spread the message of Youth Homelessness Matters, where students and schools painted and decorated couches and attached wheels. Over 30 schools were in attendance, with everyone showing their colours. Local Member of Parliament, Minister Peter Stiles, spoke to us about the day's event. On uh, what a fantastic event down here to raise uh, awareness for youth homelessness. Uh, here we are um, sitting on the, um, the Gunbalandia couch. If I had this team here in the race, I reckon that we'd just, we'd just kill the rest of them, we'd just leave them for dead. But this is a very, very important event, event uh, put together by Anglicare NT, and I've got to say a big thank you to them, and all the other organisations who have come down here to put together a display to young people, uh, and also to uh, the rest of Darwin, about uh, what youth homelessness is all about, uh, and how important it is that we support the young people out there who have slipped through the cracks. You know, most of us uh, in our lives, uh, we, we seem to get through. Uh, we hit bumps, we hit fences. But as a good friend of mine said just uh, a few minutes ago, this is about putting the fences at the top of the cliff, not the ambulances at the bottom. So we've got to try and make sure that young people don't fall off the cliff. And it's through all of the organisations you'll see here today, and that I'm sure that um, we've got television footage so far of all the fantastic people who work for these organisations, who actually are out there supporting young people. There are many reasons why young people find themselves couch surfing or find themselves homeless. Uh, they're the reasons that these people are here today and there to help them. It's behaving on not only governments but the community in general, uh, adults, families, to look at whatever we can do to support young people who might find themselves homeless. This is a fantastic event and I've got to commend all of the teams that have put these uh, magnificent couches in, uh, a fantastic pieces of work. Some of them are hilarious, and I bet some of them are fast. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, in a few minutes when we actually have the couch race, uh, and that uh, people in Darwin, and the people out there who are watching uh, this event in Darwin, and there are other events happening right across the Territory, exactly the same, so they can actually be aware uh, and consider, uh, you know, homeless youth, and what they can do from within their hearts, and within their pockets, to help young people to find themselves home. The day was a huge success, with Cedar taking the win for the event and all the glory. Couchsurfing is expected to get bigger and better for future couchsurfing events.